Being able to detect cancers sooner would make a major difference in our ability to stop them. Too often, the disease is discovered far too late. The earlier we detect cancer, it, then the more likely we are to cure it. Put simply, if the tumor is smaller or hasn't had time to spread, then we can cut it out or treat it with radiotherapy. A trial in Britain called Simplify looked at whether a blood test called Gallery, made by US-based biotech firm Grail, is able to detect a range of cancers, a diagnosis that's often not simple or straightforward to make. What Simplify is doing is looking at whether we could use this blood test to decide who needs investigation for symptoms that are often very, very vague, like tummy pain or weight loss. The test works by detecting different patterns of molecules or tags associated with different tumors that are found in the blood. These tags have a specific pattern, and there are patterns that are typically only found in cancers. So tumor cells only have these abnormalities with these specific tags being present on the DNA. And this test is designed to detect those specific abnormalities. The Simplify trial results are quite promising. It evaluated over 5,400 patients who had symptoms indicating they might have cancer. Before being checked using the standard diagnostic exams, the patients gave blood samples for evaluation with the gallery test. In the end, doctors found cancer in 368 subjects using conventional testing methods. Among those people, the gallery test correctly predicted cancer two out of three times. In the majority of the patients it identified as positive for cancer, the blood test even correctly predicted what kind of cancer was involved. Where the test was positive, 85% of the time it could tell us where the cancer was. And that can be hugely useful in making sure you do the right test first time so that some of the harder to diagnose cancers like pancreatic cancer, you can make sure you're doing the test that reveals that straight away rather than perhaps after two or three other investigations. But the test also said 79 patients were positive for cancer when in reality they didn't have it, what's called a false positive result. False positive tests without an actual tumor in the body of the patient are quite stressful for the patient, of course, because there's always the uncertainty whether there is an undetected uh, tumor lurking somewhere, but also for the treating physicians and the medical system itself, it's an enormous burden. So minimizing false positives will be key to rolling out tests like these for wide-scale use as a screening measure. A much larger study to see how Gallery performs as a tool for early detection is already underway in the UK.